Jane Fonda. Who? Um, Jane Fonda. If you don't know who she is, brilliant actress, daughter of Henry Fonda. Highly recommend you seeing at least on Golden Pond. But when she was about 25 years old, she was doing a film with a French director. Like on Goldie Pond. Yes. Or on Goldie Hawn, which Kurt Russell knows all about. Um, the director, this French director at the time, said because her character in the film was going to have an orgasm, he wanted to have sex with her so he could see what her orgasms were like. Talking to Goldie Hawn? No, to Jane Fonda. Jane Fonda? The director of the film, when she was about 25 years old, said, because you're having an orgasm in the scene, I'd like to have sex with you in order to hear what your orgasms are like. And what happened? She, of course, said no. <laughs> and he didn't say it as directly as that sounds. He said it in French, thinking she wouldn't understand. But she speaks French, so she knew exactly what he was saying. But I guess, you know, what? I guess that's method directing. Is that what that is? That's, uh, yeah, that's called hashtag me too, friends. Sexual harassment. Yeah. And very And then she said, when because Andy Cohen was interviewing her when he, she told this story, and he said, wow, that's crazy. She said, oh, I can tell you stories. I bet yeah. she can. Her career spans five decades. Especially back in old Hollywood. Yep. Just Hey, welcome back to our stupid directs of Corbin. I'm <clears throat> Jane Fonda. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks for following us. Twitter, subscribe, like button. I said that like kind of like Jack Nicholson. I'm Jane Fonda. <laughs> I'm Jane Fonda. Uh, it's old Jack, and then there's young Jack, and then there's Jack off. Ooh, sorry everybody. Uh, today we have a uh, Akshay song. Akshay's gonna get wet. And it's from 2009, so probably not cheese. Uh, all uh, that called, matters to me is the water. It's called Dean Donna Dan. Dean Donna Dean Donna, Donna Dan. And it's uh, one Dean more Donna Dan. Akshay featuring water. Yes! But this is one that is actually a sexy song and not just a meme material. Katrina Kaif stole the of show. Of course here. there's water. And Katrina Kaif is in it as well. Only seen one that I can recall, the desert song, which was very disappointing and was just dry. Too many white people. That too. Here we go. If you're in America and a bunch of white people come around you, run. <laughs> True. <laughs> Instantly. I'm so happy. Gets the girls wet, am I right? That's a gorgeous set. Beautiful set. Katrina doesn't get enough credit for how sexy she is. I agree.
That must have been miserable. Every freaking moment, they're being sprayed with water. subscribe very sexy nice and sexy lots of water yep uh must have been a miserable shoot oh yeah because you know they were on there for at least a day or two it was yeah it was probably a two-day maybe three-day shoot of nothing but granted it was indoors but still they're still being sprayed with water and they can't and cold just dry off no because miserable (laughs) yeah and it's gotta not be fun for them but Sexy. Yeah, very sexy. I don't and think, I agree with you about I, her sexiness. I don't think she gets enough credit. And obviously, Vicky Kershaw is like, uh, yeah, uh, yeah she does for me, buddy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I feel like she like it, she doesn't get mentioned with Topeka's, I w- Ashwarya's. Yeah, and- we didn't mention her when we just the other day when we were doing the video and talking about the the, yeah. the women that we find to be the sexiest. She's very sexy. She's a very very sexy lady. Uh, she was giving me some Ronnie McCurdy vibes she, right there. Uh, she has something like young. Um, much better actors, but uh, Drew Barrymore, young Drew Barrymore, girl next door, yeah, kind of feel, yeah, um, like you take her home to your mom, yeah, times. but obviously, yeah, I would she, cast her. I would either cast her or I, ca- you, I could absolutely see her. For example, if you did a remake of Fifty First Dates, yeah, she'd be great in that role. She would be great in that role. Yep, um, I I agree. Um, in fact. Why hasn't that one been Maybe done? Maybe it has. I mean, it was terrible. Yeah, because that's a really cute movie, Fifty First Dates. Although my friend Rich was trying to convince me. He said, name the five movies of Adam Sandler's that, that should have been nominated for Oscars. And I said, none. Do you think any of Adam Sandler's films should have been nominated for well, Oscars? Well, if they would add a comedy section, yeah. Okay, what would you add? And some comedies get nominated, but it's very, very rare. I'm very saying- rare. Because we say it all the time, comedy is harder than drama. So yes. the fact that the people don't see the stuff that Jim Carrey did or that Jack Black or whoever the, the greats, Robin Williams. Jerry in Lewis. Com- in their comedy movies. Yep. They're harder to do to make a great comedy that's, than it is harder to make a drama. So I, I don't see why there's not a comedy category at the Oscars. Like the Globes. Yeah. Comedy I, I and musical. It's if it's harder and everybody agrees that comedy is harder, why isn't it at the Oscars? I mean, I get that seeing Danny Day Lewis being this dramatic thing is is amazing and I, I love it. But also, what Will Ferrell did in the early part of his career, Anchorman, if you're like, oh. that's a Oscar worthy comedy right there. One and two. Like, as is Elf. So like yeah, I think old school Adam Sandler, not like current Adam Sandler. Obviously, he's he's just making bank now. <laughs> yeah, the one that worked was Good Morning Vietnam because it had a lot of poignancy and drama within it about the Vietnam War. I think it's just because the Oscars like to be hoity-toity. And, Probably and, and like that they're like, oh, we can't nominate. A yeah, liar, liar. I know. You can. You, you can. can. Just like you can nominate stunt people. Yes, the, exactly. Like I feel like. Elevative artistry doesn't always have to be drama. It can be comedy. And it can be musical. Also, back Globes in, get it right. Back in the day, you can't tell me that there was a better performance than Ace Ventura. With, it's Jim Carrey. Or liar, liar. As Ace Ventura, one of the most iconic comedy characters of all time. All time. You could put, I would put him in the drama section. I would 100% put an Oscar category, freaking Nacho Libre and Napoleon Dynamite. 
Yeah. So I don't come on. I don't see why. So yeah, I, I some old school Adam Sandler films that I love. I mean, The Wedding Singer, I love the. Um, you know, it's one of my favorites. The Water Boy. The yeah, yeah. yeah those Waterboy. are the, the. But one of my favorites. I really like bedtime Mr. stories. Yeah, Mr. Deeds. Back in the day, is a good one. Uh, I loved it. His most more recent ones, uh, Grown Ups One. Yeah, I enjoyed. And he's actually a surprise. Like most comedy people, he's a pretty dang good actor yeah. when he hits drama. Yeah. But most comedians are good at drama. It's not the other way around. But the fact that Jim Carrey, possibly the greatest comedic actor of all time, arguably, you know, he's arguably that for um, sure. Um, in terms of how great he is. He's as great at comedy as Daniel Day-Lewis is yeah. great at drama. Agreed. Like, uh, <laughs> he's just that, he's like built for it. Yes. Uh, and, and so, like, I I think the Oscars just needs to get off their high horse. and I agree. Be more, they're like, I don't want to be the people's, you don't have to be. Just add no, but some honor, categories to honor. Like certain. honoring the stunt people. Mm. Yeah. Because um, I think people just don't like to say, like, whatever, let's say, uh, I forget what comedies came out in the recent years. And they're probably, it's probably hard to do now because the big budget comedy films are basically dead in Hollywood. You, you, you don't get a lot of them anymore. Mm -mm. You don't get a lot of no, all out comedy. They've, they've turned their eyes to franchise films. Yeah. Uh, and so it's probably hard to do now as opposed to like in the Emmys. There's a whole category for comedic and because there's a bunch of comedic right stuff. that's where comedy has gone but unfortunately there's not a lot of comedy done good uh in in hollywood if it's done they bl it's usually a rom-com yeah but not just straight dumb and dumber like i feel like jim carrey should get an honorary oscar he should for his for his body of body work. of work absolutely like jack black you could argue robin williams obviously won an oscar yeah but um, it was for a dramatic turn but yeah you could give him another one for his honorary uh comedic work that was uh, once again you could argue he could have gotten an oscar for doubtfire yeah exactly um so it's unfortunate anyways that's what this is about no 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 went off on a tangent well, sorry 100 uh let us know uh other songs from katrina and akshay that we should react to down below Just